So I know that Halloween has been a hot minute and I haven't done any videos since 31 days of Halloween because I needed a little break, okay? So you might be wondering why I haven't got any eye makeup on, but today I'm going to be reviewing the Kat Von D Metal Mattes Palette. Who needs highlighter when you can just flash this palette on your face? I wanted to do this first impressions with you guys, just so you can get my honest opinion on the very first time that I used this palette. So this is the outer packaging that it comes in, and one thing that I think is so cool about this, other than obviously Kat Von D designs all the writing herself, but if you flip the palette, the writing actually says metal mattes, metal, matte, metal. I just think that is genius. I'm going to take it out of its little bags. It comes with a little bit of protection. Mm-hmm. The back of the palette has all the names of the shadows on there in silver writing. The front of the palette is that metal matte writing that's on the outer box. So the inside of the palette has this huge mirror and all the shadows are along the bottom. There are nine shimmers across the top and then there are 13 mattes along the bottom. I actually can't wait any longer so I'm just going to jump right in and start an eye look. All over my lid I'm going to be going in with the colour Bone. I always start with putting down a light colour all over the lid. This just kind of acts as a base and it makes the eyeshadow easier to blend out. Underneath my brow bone I'm highlighting using the colour Linen. I'm then going to go in the crease using this colour in Fringe. I'm just pretty much smoking that out to high heaven. And then I'm going back in with a little bit of bone to blend that all together. So far so good, the pigments are really there with the colours that I've used so far. I'm going in with this purple shade called Silk in the crease. I'm just blending that out as well. I'm then going in with the darker purple in the shade Ribbon. I'm now going in with the colour Velvet in the corner of my eye. I am liking these shades but I feel like they're coming out a lot darker than they look. I thought they'd be brighter if that makes sense. I'm going to take this lilac shade in Twinkle and put that towards the inner corner and then just kind of blend it out into the rest of the eye. Just from swiping with a brush the intensity isn't really there compared to the Metal Crush eyeshadows. So I'm just going to wet my brush with a bit of setting spray and then see if that helps. It does definitely help wetting the brush, but I think you get the best coverage by kind of using your finger to pat on the metallic. I think the colour's really pretty now I've used my finger to pat it on. I'm going to try this colour in Jolt as well. I'm just lining under the eye with this for like a metallic shimmer. For right in the inner corner, I'm going to use the shade Glitz, just to brighten up that area. And then in the centre of that eye, I'm just going to pop a little bit of the shade Tinsel. For this eye, I did use pretty much all the kind of purple tones in the palette. So far, so good. I don't think the matte shadows are as buttery as I thought there was going to be. The texture doesn't feel dry, but it doesn't feel the same as the Shade and Light eye palette either. The shadows have blended out really easy and really quick. I just don't feel like the shimmers on top are the same as the Metal Crush eyeshadows. I don't think they're as buttery or as pigmented. And I don't think that the matte shadows are the same texture as the Shade and Light eye palette either. I feel like it's kind of a different formula. To try and get the most out of this kind of first impressions review, I'm going to do different colours on this eye. I think I'm going to go for like blues and greens because there's a lot of blues and greens in this palette. So let's test them out. Again, I'm going all over the lid in bone first. And I'm highlighting underneath the brow bone with linen. I'm going to go in with the yellow shade in feather just to use as my transition colour. I'm then adding the shade in Moss. I'm also adding the shade in Velour. I really like this colour of this blue, it's really bright. I am struggling a little bit to blend out the darker colours into the lighter colours. They don't really seem to have like a seamless blend. The shadows kind of feel a little bit dry. 
I do really like this palette and I really like the colours but I feel like it's not a palette you could use on its own. You can get a lot of different eye looks out of this palette but I don't feel like it has enough kind of transition colours. On my eyelid I'm going to go in with Ignite and what? Again I'm using setting spray on my brush to get the most from these metallic pigments. I'm going to use a little bit of glitz on the inner corner again. I'm really loving this glitz colour by the way. Underneath this eye I'm going to use a little bit of the colour Nebula. Oh this Nebula colour is gorgeous. I'm also going to use glitz to highlight underneath my brow bone. So that's my blue and green eye finished. I'm going to do my lashes and liner off camera and then we can continue to review this palette. So my final thoughts on this palette. I do really like it and I think it's definitely worth the money. It seems more like a palette where I'm not going to be able to create that many full looks with this one palette but I will use shadows from this palette if that makes sense. When you compare the size and the price of the palettes, this one is 36 and this one is 50 and as you can see it's nearly double the size so I would say this one is definitely worth the money. I just don't think it's a cohesive palette like the shade and light palette. Although with the shade and light palette you can only get neutral looks, there's a lot of transition colours and colours that blend well together. Whereas with this palette there's not that many cohesive colours. You can create a lot of amazing looks with this one palette. I just think for me personally I like to blend a lot of colours that are similar. Um, and I like to have lots of different transition colours and with this palette I feel like I'd just be picking it up to use a certain few colours I probably wouldn't use it for like a whole eye look with the metallics I would say they do work best with like a wet brush or like patting with your finger the mattes I did really like as well there's some colours that I liked more than others but I definitely will be using this a lot over the next coming weeks um, obviously this is just a first impression, so my first impression is I really really like the palette, I think it's definitely worth the money. This probably will end up being like a favourite palette, but I think it's going to be something that I use alongside with other palettes. So I don't feel like you're going to die if you don't get hold of this palette. It is limited edition, so if you are into collecting makeup, you're just a big makeup enthusiast like I am, i definitely say it's worth the money and you would probably enjoy the palette and you'll probably want it just for the sake of having it because let's face it that's why we buy most makeup products nowadays but if you're not really a huge makeup fan and you just want something that has a mixture of mattes and foils or mattes and shimmers maybe try um, any of the Morphe palettes that have mattes and shimmers together or maybe try the Girls With Attitude palettes, they have a mixture of both. There's a lot of other palettes that do have mattes and like metallics or foils together. So if you don't have the budget for this palette, then there is alternatives out there. I do really like the looks that I created today with this palette. They are a bit more on the simple side. They basically just smoked out eyes with a little bit of metallic in. So I am excited to try something a bit more extreme and extravagant with this. I do think this palette has a lot of potential, but as I say, I keep going back to this. I do think it's probably gonna be something that I use alongside other products as well. So that's pretty much it for this Metal Mattes palette review. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Today we're going to be reviewing